The lost cat, eh? Okay. Okay, now you're talking my language. I know this. Here's Vector's dad. Poor dude. Hey, you having cat troubles? Yeah. Vector, my cat, ran out while I was grabbing the mail. Here, he loves this bag. If you find him, he'll crawl right in. Are cats and backpacks like a thing? Uh, do you have anything with Vector's scent? Right here. His favorite toy. Cute. Quick scan. And I got a trail. Hold tight. Vector's coming home. Huh? Is that a... Yep. Dead rat. Good for Vector, sad for Rat. On the right trail, though. Went under the bus. Trail heads down. Into the sewers. I'll follow from street level, thank you. Hope Vector's owner doesn't mind old dead rat in sewer water. trail picks up. He climbed out here. Saved from a sewer search. Never would have gotten that smell out of my suit. <sighs> Vector's Vector goes up that fire escape. Nice hops, cat. Vector's calling. Still warm. I'm close. Do not abide by the laws of nature. What under that HVAC stuff? Time to crawl. Vector! What up, bud? Coming! Found you! Boy, you got that real New York smell now, Vector. Wow. Time to head home. Here you go. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, wow. Wow. That's a smell. Oh, Vector, you've earned a full body scrub, pal. Cute cat. Let's get inside. Stink, but mad cute. Uh, I mean, I don't really do publicity. Secret identity, that whole thing. Right, totally. No pressure. I just think people would like to hear from the new guy, you know? I don't know what I'd say. I'm just kind of doing my best.
to come on the Danacast. What are your thoughts? I don't know what I'd say. I'm just kind of doing my best, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think that's true for everybody, but your best includes dodging bullets and running up skyscrapers. Hmm. Maybe when I'm on summer break and have more time? I mean, uh, when I take vacation from work, from my job. Yeah. Anyway, if I was gonna go on any podcast, it'd be yours. That is the best compliment I've gotten all week. Maybe ever. <laughs> okay, well, um, just let me know when your summer break rolls around. Bye. I gotta get started. See him close to renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for years. Jaina, how's it look? Jaina? Crap, someone make sure she's all right. Here, take five.
for Spider-Man. All right. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks. Which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. to work. Webs won't reach. Conducted. That's one. Feeling good. Well, this is gonna work. Working. A couple more. This is working. Break the underground sports. this you and me she's got to be with our project down that hall
and molasses. I want to see our project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, the Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Thanks for bringing me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. Weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suit Think they'll let me try it on? I would love workers. to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red It's planet. like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial cells. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Did you ever move to space? You know, if you could. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um... Our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Oh, oh man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh. 
from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. <sighs> we should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. I, I'm, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. mirrors and sticky on the back perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock I'll put the sticker on the metal let's go I've got the light tell me when the sticker is pointed at the sensor and I'll turn it on no one's looking at us yet gotta hurry Project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Our project. Oh, ho, ho, wee. Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, hold up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. Finn, you need to know. I'm done listening to you.
to get to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Bad. Rocks on an underground are all over. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. Dipso was about a dozen people. We're breaking up. Who are you? Genki! If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please! <laughs> 